Building a green economy is not just a move towards sustainability, but one that will create new business opportunities for Singapore. Trade and Industry Minister Gan Kim Yong called the sector an exciting one in an interview on Channel 5's News Tonight earlier. He was responding to a question on green jobs and how the nation is developing the talent needed. Many things will change. Sustainability will become one of the key priorities as we move forward and it will change uh, the way we live, the way we work. And for example, um, as, um, uh, in, in our effort to become more sustainable, we are going to electrify our transport system. So many cars will become electric cars. So our mechanics, instead of um, having to fix a, a mechanical engine, a gasoline engine, now they have to learn how to deal with electric motors. And as we electrify, we will use more electricity. And therefore, we also need to find ways to decarbonize our power sector. Our energy transition becomes very important. And all these will create new jobs for Singaporeans. And you rightly pointed out that one key strategy is to how we can uh, work with our training institutions, our institutes of higher learning, our education institutions, to prepare our young Singaporeans to, for these jobs. And many of these involve new skills. So MTI, MOE have been working very closely together, to, as well as the Ministry of Manpower, to train existing uh, uh, workers so that they acquire new skills, new knowledge, so that they can take advantage of these new opportunities that will come their way. So what are some of the other structural challenges or issues that we need to overcome? I think one key challenge, of course, that all of us know, is the limitation that we have in terms of our manpower supply. And therefore, it is important for us to help Singaporeans to maximise their potential and help them to be able to tap all these new opportunities that come their way so that uh, they will, the uh, new economy that we are generating will benefit Singaporeans. So I think uh, how we can optimise and maximise uh, the potential of our manpower resources is one key consideration. Secondly, it's also about the connecting to the rest of the world. Singapore has always been a hub for business, for travel, for talent. And because of COVID-19, we have uh, restrictions on border, border control, and therefore travel has stopped. And uh, as um, the pandemic comes under control, we need to find ways to continue to open up our border, to welcome investments, welcome ideas, welcome uh, people from all over the world so that Singapore will become a vibrant economy and to be able to tap on many of these new opportunities.